Well, hello everyone, what is going on? It is the Almighty Jeff, and we here with episode 33 of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. In the previous episode, we started clearing up some of the rogue quests we had in our quest log from uh, things that we considered previously to be too high level for us, involving uh, the Defender of the Faith, where we had to restack the statues that had been uh, knocked over, and also worked on a couple of contracts. We did the Merry Widow, which had a Grave Hag who was. Uh, attacking the, well, he actually had stolen a child from the Linden Vale, so we had to dispatch of her, and then we did Jenny of the Woods, which was a quest involving a uh, two lovers that had been killed by a um, pissed off boyfriend sort of thing, and she turned into a night wraith, so we had to dispatch of her. We picked up this Swamp Thing contract from uh, Dan Warren, and we basically deal with the Foglet here. We've tried this once, but we got pretty quickly... Um, knocked out. So, we're going to give this another shot and see if it works. Okay. Uh, so, let us Quen. Come on, Ignis Fetus. Okay. So it's about three strikes on average. Oh. Nope. Oh Jesus. Right. Okay, right. Oh Jesus. Oh. There's no need for that. Okay, alright, we're making progress. We're making progress. Oh, I am tense. Can you spawn in now, please? Hey! Come on. Whoa! Oh god. Quick respawn, respawn, uh so respawn, I mean, uh... Okay, we're not far off. We can do this. We can do this. Yes! Oh, God! <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> God damn, he's a tough bugger. You did not need that head, did you? Okay, let's, um, let's have a look around. Okay, I don't think... No, there isn't anything. <sighs> God damn. Right, yes. Oh. The fog's cleared. Okay. Just going to choke. Come on, Roach. It's kind of a good job I didn't give up on it. Because the, the way, how quickly... Uh, he dispatched of me last time. I was thinking, this is one of the ones where the, where the game is basically saying, no chance, just give up. But, you know, it is possible. It's just very tricky. You've got to be really quick on your feet with that one. Any tidings? Monster's dead. Fog's dispersed. Ha! Village folk will be content. Give them cause to celebrate. Well, you've earned your reward. Take it and fare you well. Hang on a minute. This is less than we agreed. Master Witcher, that beast, it kept me from gathering peat. And I'd still my family to feed. But a few crowns left now, and I'd yet to buy new tools. Show some mercy. I'll pay ye. I will pay ye twice the fee. But in a week's time, once I've made up some of my losses. Fine. So be it. But you remember that I'll remember. You won't get out of paying this. Thank you, Witcher. Thank you kindly, my lord. My little I bless ye. May ye be fruitful and... Get to work. You've only got a week. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, um... I might just get that out of the way now, so I'm just going to keep meditating there for seven days, and I'll see you in a second. 
Okay, okay. We're done. Witcher. Greetings. This is weird. I've just been meditating in a swamp for a week. I want my coin. Where is it? There. Take it. Twice the sum, as agreed. I keep my word. Sure. Second time around. Never mind. Thank you and farewell. Oh, we leveled up. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's have a look, shall we? Hmm. No. Again, might as well work on the ones we've got. So let's, let's have a look at this. What's this going to do? Uh, Take us over to what's going on casting. Increase the effectiveness of dialogue. Reduce casting time. Failed actually test it. Oh, it's staggered the apartment. Uh, maybe we'll go for Quen. Push the about how it breaks. Stamina regeneration combat 0.5. Oh, that's current level. Do look at this. Uh, well, yeah, we've finished Delusion, haven't we? So we'll have to move on to this if we uh, do that one, okay. Uh, Quen Shield pushes back opponents back, uh, pushes opponents back and deals damage when it breaks. Summary regeneration plus one second. Alright, let's just upgrade that. I think I'll probably do. Alright, cool. Alright, let's um, see where we are. Middle of absolutely nowhere. Uh, oh, we've got another quest in Down Warren. And Oriton. Oh, it's just another general contract. It's, it seems to be everywhere. Alright, let's have a look what that is then. Um, so for Down Warren. Again. There are, in Velen, uh, two more contracts that we've not yet started. Obviously, we've still got quite a few in our quest log. So, it must be one of those two. Unless it's just a general side quest you get for dealing with the foglet. I have no idea. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why? Why? Why did you do this to me, game? You went nothing like a Skyrim horse. Roach, I'll tell you, for free. Uh, those horses feel like mountain goats. Oh, hello. What's this? Hey. Whoa, Jesus. They're only level 5. Why are they taking so much damage? I should, should be dispatching of these guys. I know this business. Oh, that's going to blow. <laughs> eee. Of that, then. What are you guarding? Okay, so I don't want it. Hmm. This isn't a location, which is weird. Hey. Stop it, stop it. It's peculiar. Okay. Will we go there in the future? Is there a quest at that location? Pretty odd. Okay, go to the marker. Move it. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's just take all those off. Witcher wanted uh, Witcher wanted to root out and exterminate the monsters ram rampaging around these parts. During the time it takes to complete the contract, said Witcher will, will have to write have to write to room and board in the Alderman's hut, cost deducted from final pay. That's from the Alderman of Lindenvale. Right, okay. Um, what quest that's then? Uh. Huh. What, what was that? Not that one. Okay, fair news. Did you even get, give me a, a quest for it? Which is weird. Uh. 
I am confused. There's another one in Oriton. So... Okay, so I don't know what's going on there. Obviously, the quest we actually have is Mysterious Tracks, because it's the one in Lindenvale. Um, but none of the other markers actually have anywhere. But anyway, let's go and meet with Kira. It's obviously back out near Midcops. See what she needs doing. I believe it opens up a couple of um, side quests, this one actually. A bit like the one that we... how... Um, the saunter in the first place, so I seem to keep opening quests time after time. Um, so we'll uh, we'll see how this goes. Quite interested to learn more about Kira. She's a an interesting character. Someone we've not met before. Sorry, I can speak. Someone we've not met before, but Geralt clearly has close relations with. Okay, oh there, oh there. Rats, why did he need them? Bloody rodents. Better to have stuffed them with a poison or crushed them into a pulp with a shovel, but no. Did you see what he did with them? Hmm. Ah, a magic lamp. Kira, what are you doing? Geralt. You gave me quite a start. But nay, the mage says bring me rats and healthy ones. Not something the cat dragged in. This the lamp from the elf's hideout? And what's this about rats? Nothing important. I'll explain later. Now tell me, to what do I owe the pleasure? Why do you want the lamp? You just witnessed why. To communicate with lost souls. Didn't know you were interested in that kind of magic. There's nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. Why'd the elf promise you the lamp? We traded for it. He needed powerful magic, and since I was no common wart charmer, I brewed him a potion to delay nervous tissue degeneration, stave off memory loss, or some such. Who'd he want to use it on? He didn't say. Bet the old witch who lived here left you a bunch of interesting sundries. She did indeed. I gather you'd like a look. Very much so. Let's just look what she's got. What the hell's that? Question of clearance. Turns all ability points to develop abilities to the available pills you can do. Okay, interesting. Uh, there you got some books. And, um. I'm sure we'll find, come across these in the in the wild. So, I just saw this question coming. What are you doing here? Let me think. Enjoying the country air? Admiring the unspoilt scenery? Or is it furthering the age-old alliance between the city and its breadbasket? No. I'm in hiding, Geralt. Blind to the state of the world? Don't you see what's happening? You mean the persecution mages now face? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Radovid's new pastime, pursuing anyone with a whiff of magic. About I feel like we've heard this before. Witch hunters. Sound familiar? Murderers scouring the north from end to end, burning books, hanging soothsayers, torturing herbalists. Picked a strange place to hide. I didn't pick anything. In the north, Radovid's men hunt sorceresses like fish. Yeah, and definitely. Know this is where I'm like. Radovid and Emma differ in every respect. Yes, let's just get these mounts off. Sorry about that, guys. I... Long enough for rot to. I'm oh, just making sure. Any news of your sister? Yeah, this is what I want. We can't know. Even tried to. I want. Mentioned you wanted something from me. I did, and still do. The cursed isle on Lake Windama, you've heard of it, I'm sure. The local peasants mumble incessantly about it, about the wraiths that haunt it. They claim none who go there return. How'd it come to be cursed? That's what I don't know. I must break this spell, yet I've been unable to identify its source. Gotta know something. Scraps. The curse is somehow linked to the tower where Pserard, the lord of these lands, took refuge when Nilfgaard invaded. 
Claims in the village are that peasants, desperate of hunger, sailed to Fike Isle to beg for food. Met their end there. It was a massacre. So, will you please help me lift this curse? You're so good at these things. Why are you so intent on this? I'm not. The local peasantry is. The Isle, miss. You've got to lift the charm. You're a good witch, a great witch. There's no end to it. Uh-huh. See, I thought you didn't care for the locals. The great witch you are. I failed to lift the curse, and they could conclude I'm not so great. Not enough to conceal me from the witch hunters and risk getting sent to the gallows themselves. What others think. Your image. That's all you care about. The point is, listen. I didn't flee to these wilds just to stupidly get caught because some bull with grit under his fingernails grows annoyed with me. Hmm. So the peasants who went to the island for food, this lord had them murdered? The villagers say he had them poisoned. A real gentleman. Hmm. Why well, I never met him. But he certainly didn't seem such a cruel man, judging by what a mage from the isle told me. A mage lived on the island? Did you know him? Where is he now? We were friends. Sadly, he died that day as well. Very few survived. Yet even those who escaped the isle soon suffered agonizing deaths. Strangely, they did not seem to have been poisoned. All right, I'll help. I knew you'd find it irresistible. Naturally, you'll need to sail to Fike Isle. Fine. What then? Well, the spirits who wander the Isle, we must establish a rapport with them. Don't know how. But they could point us in the direction of the curse's source. Think they'll be willing to chat? Of course. Provided you take my magic lamp with you. I shall let you keep it afterwards in appreciation. You'll find it quite useful, I'm sure. Okay. Can't you just come with me? I tried to go to Fikeyle once. Thought my head would burst, the curse's magic was so strong. Nice of you to send me there. Hmm. I experienced an acute nasal hemorrhage. You stand to endure a wobble of your medallion at most. At Aratusa, they trained me to detect even the subtlest magic pulses. This was like getting smacked across my haunches with a grain flail. Funny. Thought you'd go in for that sort of thing. Take my boat. I left it on the lake shore near the village. Should be fit to use. Provided rot hasn't eaten it, as it seems to eat everything here. How's the lamp actually work? I mean, do I just rub it or do I <laughs> have to do something um, magical? <laughs> you needn't even rub. Just place it where you find bones and hear whispers. Um, I suppose I should warn you. It might not be the most pleasant experience. Figured as much. Tell you all about it later. Maybe skip the drastic bits. You'll need to do neither. I'll give you a Xenobox. It's a bauble that will let us speak over some distance. You will tell me what you see, and I shall tell you what to do and look for. Never heard of a Xenobox. It works just like a megascope, but is far more portable. Think of it as a magic box that talks. They are hard to build? Extremely. That's why they're so rare. I certainly couldn't build anything like it. So no chance these Xenovoxes will catch on with every mage using one? Not the slightest. So where'd you get the Xenovox? Found it in the mine along with the lamp. Thought it was part of the lamp at first. Didn't realize what I'd actually found until later. Think it belonged to the elven mage? Clearly. And I didn't even know the elves used them. I need to know anything else before I go? No, that is all. Oh, go already. I can't wait to see what you discover on Fi Kyle. Just be sure to come and see me afterwards. And... Geralt. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. A new quest had to prepare it for use by placing it in an appropriate slot. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, right then. So I need the magic lamp. Where's the magic lamp? The Xenovox, that's fine. Hmm. Where's the lamp?
Is that like an automatic thing? Which just goes in the packs, yes. No, okay, well. I can't even put it anywhere. I don't know what the game's talking about. Oh, I've already got them. I've already got it attached, that's why. Jesus. What's the game making a big deal out of it for then? Uh, right, let's have a look at that quest then. Temple of Mice. Okay. Uh, well, let's see what's going on then, shall we? Sounds intriguing. The boat actually there. That's you can take someone's head out with that. Jesus. Okay. Uh, how do we? These raging rivers, deep oceans, and broad lakes nestled in immense valleys. The world contains many areas inaccessible on foot or horseback. To get to them, you must either swim or sail. Little boats are on shorelines and locations marked with the harbour symbol. Be careful if your boat smashes into rocks or other obstacles, it will become damaged and might even sink. To the hammer of the broad press A. Uh, well, that's what I'm doing. Oh. It's like a, a gondola, isn't it? Right. Ooh. Hey, up she rises. I need to get a crew. Sing sea shanties. What do we do with a drunken sailor? What do we do? <laughs> no. Oh, I'll be able to live up to those uh, fine gentlemen of the Jackdo and of the Morrigan. Okay. Good news. Fast traveling on a boat going to destinations accessible via water routes. Fast travel by boat up the boat map well, with the helm of the ship. You can travel to any point, Matt. Okay. Uh, can we go to Fike Island? No. That's a bit useless to tell me that, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, there's not um, a harbour there, but it's pretty useless to go there, isn't it? Just carry on going as we are. I guess you have to discover them before you can just... Yeah, we go there. You've got to make the, uh, the tum tumultuous journey on your own sometimes. Not a problem. As long as nothing attacks the ship. There's some legendary battles in these things. Can you hear me? I've heard of it. Where are you? Almost there. Splendid. I shall contact you again soon. Wait, this Xenovox. Can I contact you with it or is it one way? One way only, I'm afraid. You'll have to trust my feminine intuition. Your what? My feminine intuition. Wonderful. <laughs> Okay. Well, we're nearly there. Shouldn't take us too long now. I think that's the uh, that's probably the tower, isn't it? Over there. Just in the, uh, the foggy distance there. Oh, I see drones. I think they're drones. screamed. Oh, they've rock fiends. Oh, great. Let's keep an eye open. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, drones. I see. Oh, 
over the right side. Come on then, let's have you. You ain't nothing. You ain't nothing. Just have a look at the world map. Uh, okay. Just seems to be pretty linear. So, that's good. I was thinking it might be like a whole new island. It's like I'm gonna have to go treasure hunting and everything. Just seems to be that little bit at the start there. Yeah, but yeah, I thought there'd be a challenge, eh? Thought there'd be a challenge. I'm gonna regret saying that now, aren't I? <laughs> Got some boys over here. A lot of them. Hey. Oh, we've got the marker at last. Hello, gentlemen. Hey, 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 hey. So gross when they blow up. Okay, I got another boat there. Cool. Where's the. Ah, it's Mouser. Oh, hello. What is that? It doesn't look pretty, whatever it is. Incinerate them. Oh, hello. Something over here. Ghouls. You're not level 6. The quest lied to me. Okay. Right. Oh dear, I've damaged a, I've damaged a sword. A silver sword, no. Break my heart. Uh, weapon look. Okay, okay. I'll do for now. Just before we uh, head back to shore and get it properly repaired there. Just to tide us over. Uh, let's make sure I'm not missing anything. Ooh. Oh, interesting. Molly arrow. Oh, okay, right. Um, so yeah, you know, we can grab some some honey. Good. See, I remember. I remember to collect the honey. Uh, so a few minutes left. Uh, okay. Weird. More ghouls. I don't know what that is. I don't like it. Mm, a fresh corpse. Must have come here a while after the nobleman's death. Indeed. Right, let's just check out this little hole to make sure I'm not missing anything. Just a dwarven spirit. No entrance to this one? Oh, yeah, there's no there's plots off. Okay. Um. Let's try Kira's lamp. 
Ah, okay. Um. They left us. Oh, oh. They left us. Look, all of them gone when. We just went. Come on. What about all this? We can't leave it. You go. Find a boat and come back for me. If you make it across. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? Be back before you know it. All right. It's interesting. Ooh. <laughs> That was very funny. To um, pick up wrap it up now. Let's just try and get this little corner covered just to make sure I'm not missing anything really. Um, so you're concerned about that magic lamp thing now because there wasn't really any indication other than me going out of my way. To find it, then he just made the remark. So, I'm not sure if there's like, those things are like all over the place, I might have to look that up. Um, okay. I think we're about done, so I think we could probably think about wrapping up though, just to actually have the tower to deal with. But we have a fast travel point, so I can go back and uh, do that. Oh, there's another point. Alright, we'll save that for next time. Uh, glossary, right, let's have a look. Beast jury, that's not changed. And we've got bolts. Tutorial. So, isn't it? Yep. Okay, let's go Sarad. Uh, I believe it said that. Uh, Care had updated. I uh, can't imagine anything else would have done. Uh, books. Yeah, I'll be from that contract that we picked up. Crafting, yeah, we'll deal with that next time. Inventory, yeah, let's we'll just get all these taken off. Not interested. There we go. World map, so of course we're now on Fike Island, which is completely new. Um, other than that, I don't think we picked up anything, did we? I think it's, uh, we've all just been going to places we've already been to, so it's fine. Um, so we're working through a tower full of mice, of course. I'm sure you can to find ghosts. Okay, so it is just on this island, right. Fair enough. So we'll try and do that. Completed. Uh, we've got the invitation, wherever that is. Invitation from Kira Metz. And also we finished off the contract swap thing. So there you go. Uh, character, no, we, well we did level up, but nothing new there. Okay, cool. Let's save the game, even though we just did save one. Oh, what do you mean I can't save right now? Where can I save? Uh, how do you? Oh, I not made one today, so let's not save over the old one. Uh, cool, that's where we're going to end it for today. Day. In the next episode, we will continue with a tower full of mice. We'll see what that's all about and try and find all the ghosts as well. And then we'll head back to Kira Metz, I assume. I think there's a third quest to this. I think it's a set of three, but I'm not sure. If not, it's fine. We'll just go back and 
do our work as usual back on Velen. Before we wrap up, let me take a second to thank my amazing patrons, my Fire Pampas patrons, Abron Hyla and Effie the Snake. You can find links to their channels as well as my other three Pampas patrons in the description down below. And on screen, you'll see credit to my one Pampas patrons. Thank you so much, everyone. It is truly appreciated and it goes a long way on top of the channel, so I do thank you a lot for that. And if we should join those patrons, you can find a link in the description down below to my Patreon page. But you don't have to do that because at the end of the day, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, try to like and subscribe, and also be sure to share the video. And I'll see you guys in episode 34. Bye, guys.